Hi, I'm Scott Adkins, an actor and a martial artist. In a world where aging is often feared as a decline in vitality and strength, there exists a remarkable exception to the rule. Have you ever wondered how some defy the conventional boundaries of age, looking decades younger than their actual years? Today, we're diving into the life of a man who has turned back the clock in a way that leaves us in awe. Meet Scott Adkins, a name synonymous with extraordinary physical fitness and martial arts mastery. At 47, where most start to feel the weight of their years, Scott stands as a testament to what the human body can achieve with discipline, dedication, and the right approach to health and fitness. But how does a man in his late 40s continue to look like he's in his mid-20s? Is it just good genetics, or is there a secret formula to his seemingly eternal youth? As we peel back the layers of Scott Adkins' life, we uncover the secrets of his workout routines, his meticulous diet, and the disciplined lifestyle that keeps him at the pinnacle of physical fitness. But before we do that, let's get to know who Scott really is. Every legend has a beginning, and for Scott Adkins, it all started in the heart of Birmingham, England. Born into a world far removed from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Scott's early years were grounded in the realities of a working-class family. His father, a butcher by trade, unknowingly set Scott on a path that would define his entire life. At the age of 10, a simple visit to a local judo club with his father sparked a flame in young Scott. The discipline, the artistry, the sheer thrill of martial arts captivated him. It wasn't just a sport, it was a calling. Judo laid the foundation, teaching him the values of discipline, respect, and perseverance. But judo was just the beginning. Scott's appetite for martial arts was insatiable. He delved into Taekwondo, kickboxing, and a plethora of other styles. Each discipline brought its own flavor, its own unique challenges. Scott absorbed them all, his body and mind becoming a master of martial arts knowledge. Scott Adkins didn't just train in martial arts for himself. His skills were about to get noticed in a big way. It all started with a chance to act in a movie far from home, in Hong Kong. In 2001, Scott got a big opportunity. He was in a martial arts movie in Hong Kong. This wasn't just any movie. It was a big deal, especially for someone who loved martial arts. In this movie called Extreme Challenge, Scott showed everyone what he could do. He wasn't just good at martial arts, he was also good at acting. After that first movie, more roles came his way. Scott went back to England and started acting in TV shows. He was in EastEnders and Holby City, two big shows on the BBC. You choose the wrong girl, go home. Look, I only need a few minutes with her. She belongs to the boss, so fuck off! But the big moment for Scott was still to come. In 2006, he acted in a movie called Undisputed 2, Last Man Standing. This movie made him really famous. He played a tough fighter named Boyka. People loved his character. After this movie, everyone knew who Scott Adkins was. Scott's career took off. He acted with famous stars and in big movies. He was in The Bourne Ultimatum and fought against Jean-Claude Van Damme in the Shepherd Border Patrol. He even had a part in X-Men Origins Wolverine. His roles were tough, exciting, and showed off his martial arts skills. Those are some achievements. Now we know who Scott Adkins is, let's dive into his workout routine. Next to his martial arts training, Scott loves old school bodybuilding workouts. What does that mean? It means he likes the kind of workouts that bodybuilders have been doing for years. These workouts focus on lifting weights and doing exercises that work on different parts of the body. Scott believes in this way of training because it has worked for so many people over the years. In his own words, Scott says he likes simple weight training. He enjoys exercises like the bench press, which is a classic exercise where you lie on a bench and push weights up. 
He believes in working hard in the gym. He goes to the gym five or six days a week and makes sure every workout is intense. So what does a week of training look like for Scott Adkins? Well, that depends on if he's getting a new role or not. But in general, it would look something like this. Um, look, I'm always training. I'm always staying in shape. I do a lot of martial arts action films. That's my thing, right? So I'm always ready to go. Monday workout. Squats, five times 10 reps. Pull ups, five times 10 reps. Glute kickbacks, five times 20 reps. Dumbbell shoulder press, four times 10 reps. Seated leg curls, five times 20 reps. Cable side lateral raises, four times 15 reps. Seated calf raises, five times 12 reps. Tuesday workout, cable crunches, five times 20 reps. Hanging leg raises, four times 15 reps. V-ups, four times 15 reps. Fat grip reverse curls, five times 20 reps. Wrist curls, four times 15 reps. Wednesday workout, decline dumbbell bench. Press, five times 12 reps. Flat bench flies, four times 15 reps. Dips, four times 10 reps. Push ups, three times to failure. Leg extensions, five times 20 reps. Glute bridge, four times 15 reps. Thursday workout. Cable crunches, five times 20 reps. Hanging leg raises, four times 15 reps. V ups, four times 15 reps. Standing calf raises, four times 15 reps. Friday workout, pull ups, four times 25 reps. Lat pull down, four times 15 reps. Inverted row, four times 12 reps. Bicep curl, four times 12 reps. Area chain to keep your body flat and we're training the mid back. It's important to do the movement slow and controlled. I'm gonna pull all the way up to the top. I'm gonna to hold it there for two to three seconds and get the maximum contraction that I can get in the mid back. 10 to 12 reps. It's just a great exercise that, that I enjoy to do and it's, it's part of the repertoire. Apart from lifting weights and bodybuilding workouts, Scott Adkins has another important part of his training, mixed martial arts, MMA and cardio. These are key to keeping him agile, quick and ready for his action-packed movie roles. MMA training is a big deal for Scott. It's about learning different styles and techniques. MMA combines many martial arts like boxing, wrestling, judo, and more. Scott uses his MMA training to stay sharp, improve his fighting skills, and make sure he's always ready for any action scene. Cardio is another important part of Scott's routine. Cardio exercises are things like running, cycling, or jumping rope. They help keep your heart healthy and improve your stamina. For someone like Scott, who needs to be able to do long and intense action scenes, having good stamina is really important. Scott is known to incorporate high-intensity interval training cardio. High-intensity interval training involves short, intense bursts of work, followed by even shorter, low-intensity workouts, and then repeated for a number of rounds. Now let's explore his diet. Being fit isn't just about working out. What you eat is just as important. Scott Adkins knows this well. His eating habits are a big part of why he's in such great shape. Let's look at what he eats and how he stays healthy. First, let's talk about Bruce Lee. He was a famous martial artist and actor, and he had a big impact on Scott. Scott admired Bruce Lee not just for his martial arts skills, but also for his super fit body. Bruce Lee's lean and muscular look inspired Scott to focus on his own fitness and eating habits. We've also created a video about Bruce Lee. Make sure you watch that on the channel as well. Now, back to Scott. Scott follows a special kind of diet. It's called a low-carb, high-protein diet. This means he eats fewer carbohydrates like bread and pasta, and more protein like chicken and fish. Carbohydrates give you energy, but eating too many can make you gain weight. Protein helps build and repair muscles, which is really important for someone who works out as much as Scott. Here is a typical day of eating for Scott Adkins. Meal one, oatmeal, walnuts, whole grain toast, fruit, protein shake. Meal two, fish, rice, eggs. Meal three, chicken breast, green salad, sweet potato, nuts. Meal four, steak, green salad, Meal five, protein shake. As you can see, Scott focuses on clean eating. This means he eats a lot of natural foods like fruits and vegetables, and he avoids processed foods. 
Eating clean helps him keep his body fat low and stay healthy. Now we've covered his diet. What else does Scott do to stay so healthy? Scott Adkins not only focuses on diet and exercise, but also includes supplements in his fitness regime. Scott takes a few key supplements to help with his workouts and recovery. These supplements support his intense training and busy schedule. Whey protein, isolate. This is a type of protein that's easy for the body to use. Scott takes it to help build and repair his muscles, especially after workouts. Branch chain amino acids. These are important for muscle growth and recovery. They help reduce muscle soreness after intense training. Creatine. Creatine gives Scott extra energy for his workouts. It helps him train harder and also supports muscle growth. Omega-3 fatty acids. These are good fats that help with heart health and reduce inflammation. They're important for overall health, not just for working out. Probiotics. Probiotics are good for gut health. A healthy gut means better digestion and overall well-being. Strong pre-workout. This is a supplement that Scott takes before he exercises. It gives him a boost of energy and helps him stay focused during his workouts. That's some routine. Scott's example teaches us an invaluable lesson. Age is just a number when it comes to fitness. Whether you're in your 20s or your 60s, the principles of regular exercise, proper nutrition, and a positive mindset remain the same. Let Scott Adkins inspire you. Start where you are. Use what you have and do what you can. Remember, maintaining fitness is not just about looking good. It's about feeling strong, staying healthy, and improving the quality of your life at any age. In the words of Scott Adkins, it's never too late to be what you might have been. Let this be your motivation to embrace a healthier, more active lifestyle, no matter where you are in your life's journey. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to The Fountain of Youth to gain direct access to The Fountain of Youth. And make sure you watch our video on Michael Jai White. He's four years older than Scott, but looks even better.